I'm very lucky to have the honour of being able to interview Beth Reeks, who's a young author, a physicist student, and has just recently been named as one of Time's most influential teenagers of 2013. Can you tell me about the first moment you knew you were interested in physics? It wasn't like one of those, night, one of those times where you know, I walked out and looked up at the stars and I thought, wow, I want to do physics. I just remember being the only person that seemed really keen amongst my friendship group when we had a physics lesson in GCSE. And I'd be there like, we have physics today. And they were like, why are you so excited? It's so boring. I'm like, no, it's not. It's really good. Something sparked an interest. And then I realised that it was such a broad area. And, you know, there was so much more to learn about it, so much more to read up on about it. And, you know, I just wanted to pursue it even further. Is university like anything you'd expect it to be? I really enjoy physics in sort of all areas. I mean, I'm particularly interested in astrophysics and particle physics, though. I, I just find it really interesting. I mean, it's really satisfying in a way to know how things work and why they work that way and how everything is made up. The other day, um, Jocelyn Bell came up because um, we talked about pulsars and then our lecturer mentioned, oh, but she was overlooked for the Nobel Prize and it went to you know, his superior. Um, and I kind of thought, oh, you know, it always, it always seems to be that there's so many women overlooked, especially in physics history. What do you think turns off so many girls from doing physics? There are role models out there for girls in science, but you don't really get these role models to girls, especially when they're choosing their A-levels. And I think, you know, use, using things like social media, like Facebook and Twitter, where all these young girls are, that's a really great way to promote physics and female role models to them, to get them to go into physics at a higher level, you know, A level and a degree level. And getting the, these role models into schools as well to speak to them and show them, I can do it, so, so can you. You know, you don't need to be afraid. Where I've got quite a good position online um, with, as a writer, where I've got a, lot, a large audience of young girls, I think it's really great that I could try and promote physics to them and show them that they're not going to be laughed at for it. They're not going to be less respected for it. You know, they can show boys who think that maybe they can't do physics. They can show these guys that they can do it just as well as they can, if not better in some cases. I mean, I would identify myself as a bit of a physics nerd or a geek because um, I think it's quite, it can be quite an endearing term and I don't feel that it's exactly offensive because that just means that you've gotten excited about something you know um whether people think oh you know they're a nerd because they enjoy reading or you know something intellectual well, why is that a bad thing you know it's it's really not it just means that you've got excited about something